Hey, I'm Tom. In this video, I'll show you how to start your blog in two easy steps. Although it's easier now to start a blog than ever before, you still have to know how to set up your blog so that it will rank on Google and get visitors to your site. So I'll show you what to do to make sure that you set up your blogging platform the right way. So you, what you're going to need is a hosting service, a domain name, and a platform to run your blog. Let's talk about your hosting service. It has to be fast and reliable. Now hosting is one of those things where you do not want to save money. Saving money on hosting just costs too much in the long run. That being said, you don't have to go out and spend a fortune on a hosting service. But you need a decent service. You see, cheaper hosting providers save costs by running your site on slower hardware. The consequence is that it takes longer for your website to load. And Google hates slow speeds. Websites that load really slow get penalized. And then you either get a low ranking or no ranking. Also, cheaper hosting providers are not as reliable. By reliability, I am talking about keeping your website online no matter what. If Google discovers that your site is down due to a hosting issue, your site will be penalized. And cheaper hosting providers don't have the hardware to ensure your site is online always. I learned this the hard way, because the first hosting provider I bought was slow and offline a lot of the time. It was a disaster. Sometimes it would take 30 seconds to load a page, other times the website would just time out. My blog didn't get much traffic and I was really annoyed. I only later realized that for just a few extra dollars I could have all my hosting problems solved. And then I discovered the fast and affordable service. It's called SiteGround. Now if you buy it you will not wonder whether it is a good choice. It is a good choice. You will be able to focus your entire efforts on your blog without being worried about the quality of the hosting. Now if you want to check out SiteGround there should be a link to this hosting service somewhere below this video. They have a 30 day money back guarantee so there's absolutely no risk involved and it's definitely worth the money. The second thing you need is a domain name. This is the URL a person types to visit your website. The good news is that when you choose SiteGround hosting you get a free domain. So it's easy to set up. You get your hosting and domain in the one place. I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, this is the SiteGround website. Now I want you to drag your mouse over to the WordPress services and click on WordPress hosting. Now let's scroll down a little and then you have three options here. Now this is important. If you are planning on just having one blog and using one domain name, then select the startup option, this one here. If you are considering creating more than one blogs or hosting more than one website on your hosting package, then Grow Big is for you because you can have multiple websites on this hosting package. So you would click on Get Started here. So in this tutorial, I'll just select Startup for one blog and click Get Started. Now enter the domain name that you want over here. Make sure it's, this is selected, register a new domain. So let's just enter a sample name. Now just before, if the domain name is not available, you will get an error. So let's just type in something broad, weightloss.com. I am sure that is taken. Yeah, as you can see, weightloss.com is not available, so it gives me a choice of alternative domains that are available. So what, you, what I want you to do is just type in the domain name that you want and then click on proceed. So just for the purposes of this example, I'll select myhealthyweightloss.net and click proceed. Now it's just a matter of filling out the formalities and paying for the domain and hosting. Well, the domain is included free as part of the hosting package. The only extra services that you should know about are here. Firstly, domain privacy. If you want your details private, then you would select this option. Now, what do I mean by private? 
If you do not select this option, then uh, when you register your domain, your details will be available on the Whois website. So anyone can look up your domain and find out that you are the owner of this particular domain. If you select it, then your details will be hidden. I usually don't buy this domain privacy, but I suppose it depends on what you are selling and how you feel about anyone looking up domain ownership. Next, we have over here, hack alert monitoring. Now this is an extra feature to protect your website from malicious code. I wouldn't worry about this now. I don't use it for any of my sites and my sites are safe. So I would not select this one. Then you just scroll down, make sure this checkbox is checked and then click on pay now. Within a couple of hours, your hosting and domain will be set up. So click the link below this video to get started setting up your hosting and domain. You should get an email when your hosting and your domain is all set up. At that moment, you can go and set up your first blog. The easiest platform for blogging is WordPress. It's basically a turnkey platform. It's very simple and intuitive to use. Well, that's what I was told. I didn't believe it at first though, because uh, when I first logged in, I was a little confused and I didn't really know where everything was. I didn't know where to start, but after maybe five logins, each time I logged in, I kept browsing through the dashboard and then suddenly something clicked in my brain and I realized at that moment just how easy this blogging platform is. You just have to get familiar with it. And it's awesome because you can literally do anything you want using WordPress because it's not just a blogging platform. If you decide to sell online products, create membership sites, create landing pages or build an email list, all of these things are possible thanks to WordPress plugins. So let's get started setting up your first WordPress blog right now. First, log into your SiteGround account. So we'll go over here, enter your details, click login. Then I want you to click on my accounts. Now go to cPanel. You may get a pop-up at this stage, so just click proceed. Under the auto installers section, click on WordPress. And over here, click on install, because this is literally a one-click install platform. First, choose the protocol. For starting a blog, select HTTP. Next, choose the domain name that you want the WordPress blog to be installed on. I've created a sample domain name, sample page, okay? So that's what I'm going to be used. Leave the directory field empty. Now give your site a name and a description. So I will call it sample first blog, how to set up your blog. Now don't worry, this isn't permanent. You can always change this later. Now over here, enable multi-site. Do not check this. You do not need this for your blog. Now I want you to select an admin username and I admin password. Make sure that it's something secure and make sure to write down your password somewhere so that you don't forget it. Over here, admin email. You can use your own private everyday email if you want. So just enter something that uh, that you can use, that you have access to. Over here, I want you to select your language. So I will just leave it at English. Limit login attempts. I would select this. It's to prevent someone from randomly typing in passwords and trying to log into your account. Then we've got cleft secure passwordless login. I would leave this blank unless you plan on logging in from your mobile phone, then you can consider this. The theme to install, 
I would just leave it as none. You will set the theme later on when you have the WordPress installation complete. And now the advanced options is basically just to set up a database name and a table prefix. So we can leave it on the default and then we just click on install. Okay, password strength must be a little bit more. So let's just go password one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and click on install. And that's it, the WordPress installation is complete. So over here, you've got the two main URLs. This one, this is your website, your new WordPress blog. And then if you want to log into the dashboard, we go to this URL. So it's just your standard uh, website URL. And then at the end, it's got forward slash WP admin. So if I log in, admin, then here's my WordPress dashboard. Congratulations. You have just set up your first blog. Was that easy or what? So in this video, I showed you how to set up your hosting package with your domain name and then you installed WordPress on your hosting platform. Now that you know how to set up a blog, click the link below this video to get started choosing your hosting package and also selecting your domain name. Then come back and use this video as a reference to set up your WordPress installation properly. Now, in the next video, I'll show you the main features of WordPress. I'll show you how to navigate throughout it. So keep your eyes open for my next email with the download for the video link. I'll see you then.